Today, we will talk about how to determine the distance between points defined by geographic coordinates. First of all, let's look at the concept of distance. Basically the distance is a quantity that measures the spatial separation between two points, and to determine it, a navigation chart and a plotter are usually required. However, the distance can also be calculated if the coordinates of each point are known. To understand how, we must first look at the concepts of difference in latitude and longitude. The difference in latitude refers to the angular distance between two points with different latitudes, measured in degrees, minutes, and seconds. In other words, the difference in latitude refers to how far apart two points are in terms of latitude. For example, here we have two points with different latitudes, 70 degrees north and 50 degrees south. In this case the difference in latitude would be 120 degrees. Now, in this other case where the latitudes are 80 degrees north and 20 degrees north, the difference in latitude would be 60 degrees. Now, to calculate the difference in latitude, the latitudes must be added or subtracted depending on the case. If both points are in the same hemisphere, then the latitudes must be subtracted to obtain the difference in latitude. In this example, both points are in the northern hemisphere, so we subtract the latitudes and obtain a difference in latitude of 54 degrees. On the other hand, if the two points are in different hemispheres, then the latitudes must be added to obtain the difference in latitude. In this example, one point is in the northern hemisphere, while the other is in the southern hemisphere, so we add the latitudes and obtain a difference in latitude of 84 degrees. With this being said, let's look at some examples. In this first case we can see that both points are in the northern hemisphere, so we just subtract the latitudes and obtain a difference in latitude of 24 degrees. Now, in this second case, the points are in different hemispheres, so we just add the latitudes to obtain a difference in latitude of 44 degrees. Now, up to this point we have only used degrees for the examples. Let's see how to do this operation with degrees in minutes. In this first case, since both points are in the same hemisphere, we just have to subtract the latitudes. However, subtracting 15 minus 30 can be difficult if done manually, so it is better to convert one of the degrees into minutes, so that we now have 18 degrees in 75 minutes instead of 19 degrees in 15 minutes. This way the operation is much easier now, and we obtain a difference in latitude of 8 degrees in 45 minutes. Now, in this second case, the points are located in different hemispheres, so we have to add the latitudes. In this case we obtain 95 degrees in 67 minutes. However, to express it correctly, we need to convert 60 of those minutes to 1 degree, then obtaining a difference in latitude of 96 degrees in 7 minutes. Now, having seen the difference in latitude, let's now look at the difference in longitude. The difference in longitude is defined as the angular distance between two points with different longitudes, measured in degrees, minutes and seconds. So it is basically the same as the difference in latitude, but now in terms of longitude. So here for example, these two points have different longitudes, which are 70 degrees west and 10 degrees east. Here, the difference in longitude would be 80 degrees. And in this other case, where the longitudes of the points are 90 degrees east and 50 degrees east, the difference in longitude would be 40 degrees. As with latitude, to obtain the difference in longitude, these must be added or subtracted depending on the case. If both points are in the same hemisphere, then the longitudes must be subtracted to obtain the difference in longitude. So in this example, since both points are in the eastern hemisphere, then we subtract the longitudes and obtain a difference in longitude of 60 degrees. On the other hand, if both points are in different hemispheres, the longitudes must be added. So in this case we just add the longitudes and obtain a difference in longitude of 90 degrees. Let's now look at some examples using degrees in minutes. In this first case, both points are in the Western Hemisphere, so we have to subtract the longitudes. However, as we have already seen, 
subtracting 20 minus 30 can be difficult if done manually. So it is better to convert one of the degrees into 60 minutes, so that we now have 67 degrees in 80 minutes, instead of 68 degrees in 20 minutes. This way the operation is much easier, and we obtain a difference in longitude of 49 degrees in 50 minutes. Now, in this other case, the points are located in different hemispheres, so we have to add the longitudes. Here we obtain a difference in longitude of 31 degrees and 69 minutes. However, to express it correctly we must convert 60 of those minutes into 1 degree, so we get 32 degrees and 9 minutes. So having seen how to obtain the difference in latitude and longitude, let's look at how to convert it into distance. As we previously mentioned, the distance between two points on the Earth's surface can be measured in angular terms, since it is a sphere. However, angular distances are not used for navigation purposes, since other units of linear distance are used, such as nautical miles, kilometers, etc. So the question is, how can we convert degrees, minutes and seconds of arc, to nautical miles, kilometers, or meters? Well, to answer this, we must first analyze the dimensions of the Earth. In practical terms, we can assume that the Earth is a perfect sphere with a circumference of 40,000 kilometers. With this in mind we can then say that if 360 degrees equals 40,000 kilometers, then each degree equals 111.11 kilometers. And as we know, each degree can be divided into 60 minutes, so then each minute equals 1.852 kilometers. And 1.852 kilometers is exactly one nautical mile. So then we can say that each minute of arc equals one nautical mile. However, as we will see later, this rule is not true in all cases. In fact, this rule only applies when both points are on the equator or on the same meridian, which are great circles. But let's see why. At the equator, the circumference of the Earth is 40,000 kilometers as we said before, which means that here, each minute of arc equals one nautical mile. However, if we move towards the poles, for example at 60 degrees of latitude north or south, the circumference of the Earth at this point is only 20,000 kilometers, which means that here, each minute of arc equals 0.5 nautical miles. And if we move further towards the poles, we will see that the circumference becomes smaller and smaller. This can be seen more clearly if we look at the Earth from one of its poles. As we can see here, the circumference of the parallels gets smaller and smaller as we approach the pole, so that the same angular distance in terms of degrees and minutes will be equivalent to a smaller linear distance in terms of nautical miles. In this order of ideas, if both points are on the equator, we just have to find the difference in longitude and convert it to nautical miles. Let's see an example. Here, the latitude of both points is zero degrees which means that they are both on the equator. So to determine the difference in longitude we just have to subtract the longitudes, obtaining seven degrees as a result. Now, since each degree equals to 60 minutes, this means that the difference in longitude can be expressed as 420 minutes. And since at the equator each minute equals one nautical mile, this means that the linear distance between these points is 420 nautical miles. Now, let's see another example, but now with degrees and minutes. In this case these points are both at the equator, and since they are in different hemispheres we have to add the longitudes to obtain the difference in longitude, which in this case is 44 degrees and 41 minutes. Now, since each degree equals to 60 minutes, if we convert 44 degrees to minutes, the result will be 2,640 minutes, plus the remaining 41 minutes. This way, since each minute equals one nautical mile at the equator, the distance between both points is 2,681 nautical miles. Now, a similar procedure applies when both points are located on the same meridian. In this case we just have to determine the difference in latitude, and then convert it to nautical miles. Let's see an example. Here as we can see, both points are on the same meridian, which is 15 degrees west. 
So to determine the difference in latitude, we just have to subtract the latitudes, obtaining 9 degrees as a result. Now, if we convert 9 degrees to minutes, the result will be 540 minutes. And since on the same meridian 1 minute equals 1 nautical mile, this means that the distance between these points is 540 nautical miles. Let's now look at another example, but using degrees and minutes. In this case, both points are on the same meridian, which is 41 degrees and 39 minutes west. To obtain the difference in longitude we just have to add them, which results in 15 degrees in 15 minutes. This way, if we convert 15 degrees to minutes we obtain 900 minutes plus the remaining 15 minutes, which means that the distance between both points is 915 nautical miles. Now, so far we have seen the simplest cases, where the rule of 1 minute equals 1 nautical mile can be applied. However, if what we want is to calculate the distance between two points independently of their latitude or longitude, we can do it by means of a more complex formula, known as the Haversine formula, which is this one. What this formula does is to create a fictitious great circle that passes through the two points we are interested in, allowing us to determine the shortest distance between those points. One important thing to bear in mind is that the latitudes and longitudes must be converted to radians to introduce them in the formula. Let's see an example of how to use it. Suppose we want to determine the distance between these points, so here we have the corresponding latitudes and longitudes. However, in order to convert them to radians it is necessary to change the sign according to the hemisphere. In this case, the northern and eastern hemispheres are positive, while the southern and western are negative. After doing this, we can now convert them to radians using this formula. Once this is done, we can now replace them in the formula and do the math, obtaining as a result a distance of 2,827.7 nautical miles. I hope the information presented in this video was useful. If so, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.